Hello, Mrs. Elke here along with Ella. Ella. And today, Ella and I wanted to do something magical for you. So, we decided to draw and color a princess crown. Isn't it beautiful? So, if you would like to draw a princess crown. Oh, it's not magic. Okay, Ella says it's not magic. Uh, if you would like to do a princess crown, follow along. And at the end of this video, we will have a real magic trick. So follow along and see what our real magic trick is at the end of the video. Ella, the magician, is going to perform something amazing. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. To start off our crown, we're going to use two dots towards the bottom of our page, okay? I'm gonna put one right here and one right there. Can you go ahead and do two dots like that, Ella? Right there and right there. Good, now we're gonna connect the dots with not a straight line, but a line that's gonna curve down just a little bit and then go back up, okay? So it, it's gonna look like a really, really wide little smile. Kind of like that. Good. All right, next I'm going to do two lines that go straight up on the outside, okay? So one is going to go straight up on this side, straight up and down. That's called a vertical line. And one's going to go straight up and down on this side. And I wanted to try to make them about the same size. Vertical line on that side. Good. Now I'm going to make another dot that's right in the middle of my crown. So I'm focusing on the middle and I'm going to go up and it's going to be taller than my two lines on the side. This is going to be the top part of my crown. I'm going to put a line right there so I know where the middle is going to be. Good. Now we're going to make an upside down V or maybe what looks like a mountain, okay? And it's going to go down like that and down like that. So that's our V. Upside down. An upside down V, yep. And we're going to make another mountain and we want to make sure it's skinny enough so that it doesn't run into the side here. So I'm going to make a smaller mountain right here like that. Good. And then I'm going to make one more mountain that's going to connect to the side of my crown. Good. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. So a little mountain here and then another mountain that goes on the side of my crown and down. Well, you'll just have to add an extra mountain on your side. That's okay, too. You have extra fancy crown. All right. Now, usually a crown has a nice shape on the top, so we're going to add some shapes to the top of ours. Would you like yours to have circles, diamonds, hearts? What do you think? You can do whatever you want. What kind of shape do you want on the top of your crown? Maybe I'm going to have two different ones. I think my middle one here is going to be a heart, so I'm going to put a heart on the middle like that. What do you do with that? You can do a diamond on the middle of yours. And then I think I'm going to do circles on my other ones. Mm -hmm. Like that. I make a diamond. So a diamond here will go like this and then like this. How's that? Okay. What are you going to make on your other points? What shapes? Okay, so Ella's going to make some hearts on the other tips of her crown. Alright, once we've done that, we're going to add some more details to the inside part of our crown. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add are a couple of lines. The first one's going to be on the bottom. I just want to add a line that follows the same shape as the line on the bottom of my crown. And then I'm going to do another one that's a little bit higher up. So it's going to have a slight curve to it, just barely. And then I'm going to add another line right next to it. OK, 
okay. And so now I have a section in here that I could decorate. And again, you can kind of pick the shape that you want to decorate. Usually these are jewels. So maybe think of what kind of jewels you want. I think I'm going to put diamonds up here. Maybe I'll put some circles or ovals down here. It's a good one. You, you can really play with a lot of fun shapes. I'll do ovals all along the bottom here. Those can be jewels on the crown. And then I think I'm going to put diamonds up here to add some diamond jewels to. You missed the diamond up. Oh, that's okay. That jewel just has extra character. <laughs> it's just a fun one. A special jewel. All right. Once we've done added all of these things to our crown, we'll go ahead and color. So Ella's gonna finish adding some things to her crown. And then of course, we will add some fun colors to the crown to make it so extra beautiful. Okay, so add whatever shapes you'd like and then go ahead and fill it with color. We're gonna get started on ours and then we will come back and show you how awesome they look. As you can see, Ella and I have added a lot of fun colors to our beautiful crowns. And we are adding some finishing touches to our pictures. Of course, you can make your gems all kinds of different colors. You could do a pattern even. Ella's been working on patterns at school, right? Those are always fun to do. And Ella loves to color, of course, for I school as well. I want to be an illustrator when we go up. An illustrator? You want to illustrate children's books? That would be a fun job. An illustrator Ooh, an illustrator and a teacher. That sounds like fun too. All right, what color are you going to do your hearts on top? That is the question. I was also excited to show you a magic trick, so keep on watching till the end of the video to see her fancy magic trick. If you enjoy watching these videos, please subscribe to our channel and press that like button below as well. Hopefully you will see more and more as we add more and more fun drawing videos. called blueberry. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful crown. Do you have a princess to put it on? Or would you wear it and turn into a princess? Oh, even better. All right, those are pretty fabulous, I must say.